What's up everybody? Welcome back to Forgotten Forest and this is my second attempt at recording this video. Not today, but <laughs> this was supposed to have been the video for, gosh, I don't know, about a week ago, I guess. And uh, for some reason, sometimes whenever I switch between computers, uh, OBS wants to switch audio sources on me. Or maybe there was an update or something, I don't, know, I don't really know. But anyway, I didn't get this, the game sound, so... Anyway, here's what happened. So, <laughs> you can see the truck has kind of, uh, we've had an accident here. So I got going, and this is the Pitts log trailer that I'm using, and it gets a little bit tippy sometimes whenever you have it loaded down pretty good and get to going fast and make turns and whatever. It wants to tip right over. And so I just got going too fast and tried to put the brakes on, and then the trailer just went over, and here we are. So I got the cable skidder down here trying to, or dozer, trying to get this thing flipped over, but it looks like that ain't going to happen. Um, so... I think what I'm going to do, and I know this is probably not very realistic, but I'm just going to reset it because <laughs> I don't feel like driving the loader all the way down here and all that good stuff. So yeah, we're just we're just going to cheat a little bit. So y'all just hang hang with me. All right, so I just went ahead and reset it back to the shop. I didn't really feel like driving the loader all the way down there. Because at four miles an hour, it would take forever to, for it to get there. Then you got to drive it back. So we'll just get the wood chipper down there, chip it all up, and start over. But anyway, I guess this does give me a good opportunity as I'm going back towards the job site to show off the new feature that I was going to show off last time before I realized I didn't have any game sound. So we'll do that here in just a second. Alright, so first of all, I guess you might notice that I'm using a different uh, truck. This is the uh, Peterbilt, um, I think it's 379 day cab. And so the reason I was using those Kenworth trucks before is we couldn't make it up the hill. And I've solved that now by making a new road which is just right up here on the left. All right, so before, if you remember, we had we were going straight and then it, it's kind of at a weird angle and we kept losing trailers. In fact, there's one still sitting over down there I haven't reset yet. Uh, so I made this little path that goes kind of more of a less sharp angle on the, I guess you'll call it, uh, I guess I'll call it, uh, uh, perpendicular to the way we're facing now so it goes and then goes straight up that steep hill right over there where we just were where the truck tumped over so I got to looking and if we come down this way there's a steep little hill right there at the start but then it kind of levels out just a little before it goes back up a little bit more but see it's, it's a gradual increase versus the steep uh, hill we were at last time over there so you can actually make it up here with uh, trucks that aren't heavily modded, so that's what I'm going to do. I just wanted to use some different trucks. I, I kind of get tired of using the same old thing every time. But see, as long as you stay on the gas and you're not loaded, you can make it up this hill with uh, probably just about any truck, I would imagine, if it's got decent power. I mean, it's it's quite a hill still, but I mean, it's you know more manageable because it's a gradual increase instead of a 45 degree angle up. Because <laughs> it is over there, it is steep, and this road right here just ties in with this other, the the original road that I'm built, just sort of on the other side of the steep hill there. So it worked out pretty good took me a little while to you know cut all the trees and pick them up and plow the road and whatever but uh, it's, it's totally worth it so you can see right here it just ties in with this existing road I still got some trees to pick up along the sides of the road I worked on a good bit to uh, getting those cleaned up but there's still a bunch of trees on the side of the road got to get chipped up
And there's also one more new thing to look at back at the sawmill, which we'll do that whenever we get back over there. I don't want to skip over and show that exactly. And I can't remember how we're... Oh, that's right. We still got a bunch of trees to cut over here. Yeah, I got to looking last time and all this on the left over here is a good, good portion on the left over there. We still haven't cut yet. So we're going to be here a little while. I'm just going to kind of cheat and go around here. All right, so yeah, I got to looking and the line that I had painted up here actually goes quite a good ways back in here before it finally turns. So you can see some red paint way down there. And then I think right up in here somewhere is where it makes the turn. Or did I even paint that? I can't remember. Maybe I didn't finish painting that, but anyway, we got a good bit more to cut in here. Okay, here's the line. Okay, I'll see it now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so looks like it's going to come right down to there, make a turn. I missed the turn there. But see all these trees running right through here, all this stuff. We're going to cut all that. So still got quite a bit of work here on this site. But let's get this truck loaded up and see if we can't make a successful run to the sawmill. And then I'll show you what's new over there.
All right, off I go again. Well, off I go again. Y'all didn't see what happened last time, but we will try to avoid what happened last time, that's for sure. But you can see, uh, we're, we, this is a pretty good load. This is, I guess, roughly about what I had last time. But you can see the, the trailer rocking already, and we've barely got going. It's not even uneven ground yet. But you know, when the trailer's empty, it's really, really stable. I mean, I, you can swing it around in all kinds of curves at any kind of speed you want to, and the tires don't lift off the ground. It's just whenever you get a load on there, that this trailer right here, this pit's log trailer, it really gets gets to rocking around and tipping, and wants to tip over. So I have to take it slow. See, right, right about, well, not, it wasn't here, but it was right down here somewhere is when I realized I was going too fast. I started slamming on the brakes, probably right about where this uh, curve, little, little small curve right here starts. But by then it was a little bit too late because I had come around this curve and I was on two wheels, well, <laughs> on one side. <laughs> and then, yep, so right about in here is where it, all went over. Let's <laughs> see, now I should have taken the dozer and got rid of those logs out of the road, but if we go slow enough, I think we can get around them. But you just have to be really careful if that's what you decide to do. I mean, that's this is just how I'm playing it. I like this Pitts log trailer because it's more realistic. I see a lot of these around here. In fact, I saw one just a little while ago. Uh, I had come. I was coming home from lunch and. Uh, got behind and sort of to the side of a uh, I couldn't tell what kind of truck it was but it was a nice looking truck and it was pulling a pit so all truck looked, looked fairly new wasn't too badly banged up or beat up but it was just about like this I mean the only thing different I think it was uh, it had uh, mud flaps on it and it seemed like something else was just a little bit different in the back but looked just about like that and this, of course, this is what I see around here. I, I try to emulate whenever I do logging, uh, and I don't do like harvester forwarder or yarding or anything like that. I try to emulate, you know, what I see around here, which is a pit log trail with two axles, and all of uh, FDR stuff. I believe seems to want to have three axles on there for some reason. <coughs> which those trailers are really stable. I like using them, but I like realistic looking trailers too sometimes.
All right, so before we go sell this this timber, this lumber or uh, logs, we'll check out the new equipment over here. So another thing that happened in the video that I didn't get to show y'all was I loaded up a flatbed trailer with lumber from the production sawmill up there and I went to unload it because it's an auto load trailer. I went to unload it right here on the this cell point and when I did the trailer went nuts and went to spinning around and the truck and trailer both flipped in the air about 50-60 feet in the air and then came back down. Well, actually more than that. Uh, it landed I don't know somewhere somewhere out here in the water <laughs> and it's also just like good grief and then I went, I went I had the little forklift over here and I went to pick up those pallets of lumber it wouldn't pick them up so I had to get something bigger so I got this uh, New Holland wheel loader which is just standard in-game stuff but anyway got that going but let's go sell these sell these logs As if we need any more money, but you know, we got quite a mess over here. I need to clean this up. All right, come on. Why is that? I guess it just doesn't want to come out of there. There we go. There may have been one stick of wood that was got caught in in between the uprights or something, bolsters. Anyway, we got it. Yeah, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to get this uh, wood chipper thing right here. <laughs> this is what I was using to clean up the roads, all those trees on the sides of the road. Just going down through there with the wood chipper and getting them. No sense really in trying to pick them up and process them and sell them. Probably don't get quite as much with this wood chips, but anyway. At least it's something that's quick.
All right, I think I'm just gonna I'm park this somewhere else. So I'm just gonna leave this here for now. As I have time, I'll probably come back later and try to get some more of those trees along the sides of the roads picked up, cleaned up. We'll park it out of the way for now. Yeah, so I think next time on Forgotten Forest, we're going to get back up to the new job site at the top left of the map up there and see if we can't get us a couple of loads or something out of there. I've been, uh, I thought I was about done up here at this site where we're currently at uh, next to the production sawmill, but then I realized that I had painted a good bit more and we still got a pretty good ways to go, but that's all right. We'll keep working up there. We got to feed that production saw and get that lumber because that lumber, that's a pretty good money making deal there. Doesn't really cost us a whole lot to, to make it. And then I think for each one of those, uh, the big pallets of lumber, I got like $11,000 or something a piece. So it adds up pretty quick and you can uh, rack up some money real fast with that lumber. It just, it takes a while for it to, to make though, but you know, that's sort of the, the trade off is, uh, the time it takes to make it and then you got the eleven thousand dollars a pop so it's it adds up but see even on this hill this, this truck's struggling a good bit but at least we can make it up there the other one we can't even make it you can get a running start at it and still not even make it maybe just the truck itself I'm not sure but a trailer no way <laughs> never make it I like how far back up in here this is. You have to really truck a good ways to get to the sawmill and back. And probably this next load of logs right here, we'll just go ahead and take it to the production sawmill and keep feeding that. One thing I want to do real quick though is let's get these uh, these logs that fell off out of the way. Throw them back on the pile.
All right, well, we're just about out of time for today, and I think the last thing I want to do... Yeah, see, so there's some of those short ones I got loaded up. Um, I need to find my wood chipper that we just had at the sawmill. There it is. Uh, as I'm signing off here, I'm going to be driving this back up there because I need to get some a bunch of that stuff cleaned up around the processor, and uh, I need to make sure that the sawmill's got plenty of wood chips to keep going. And uh, I think that's that's what I'm going to do. And then next time, um, we, when we come back, like I said, I'm going to go up to the we'll go up to the top left of the map up there. Well, actually, middle left, where we set up the new job site with the forward or harvester setup. We'll uh, work over there a good bit. See if we can't get us a load or two logs, and uh, just continue working over there. I haven't really done a whole lot over there other than just get the job site sort of set up, and then probably the time after that we'll switch back over to where the production sawmill is at maybe try to get the rest of those trees cut down and maybe start looking at a different job site i want to go on further north like uh, way like due north of uh where we're at up there for the production sawmill uh, kind of in the top right area what i want to do is i want to go probably a little bit northeast in between well, up towards the kind of top right corner of the map up in there somewhere, maybe. Or, if that's not workable, then what I might do is kind of go a little bit northwest of that crater-looking thing and up into that flat spot towards the sort of top right middle-ish area. Maybe up in there somewhere. That'd be kind of cool. Just to give us a, a long, longer truck length to truck it, you know, and then we can set up course play routes and while that truck's delivering or coming back we can be working on something else that's always uh always the fun part of 4x maps bigger maps is uh you know the length it takes to do anything to get there and get back but anyway like i said i'm gonna get this uh, wood chipper back up there towards the production sawmill and get some of that cleaned up and as i'm coming back i'll hit a few uh those trees along the sides of the road get that cleaned up some more and we'll just keep on going but uh hope you enjoyed this episode of forgotten forest thanks for watching we'll catch you next time